Today I'm going to talk to you about five hacks to making sure that you believe you can and you will achieve your goals this year. Hey everybody, well it's Todd and I want to share with you the importance behind believing. One thing that I see over and over and over, it's one thing to come up with a business plan or a goal. It's a very different thing to believe that you can actually achieve it. And one thing that we know is that whether we have great intentions behind our goals, great intentions behind our plan, if we have the wrong mindset, a couple of things are likely to happen, right? Number, number one, I may do the work, I just may not do it the way it needs to be done. Or more likely, I probably find reasons why not to do the work. So I wrote down five different hacks that I thought might help you in making sure that your belief system, that your mindset is prepared and ready to succeed this coming year. So number one on my list, creating inspiring goals. If your goals are ho-hum, um, they're not gonna get you excited. So please make sure that you give deep thought to what the goals are and why you want to achieve them, right? We've all heard Simon Sinek, but inspiring goals is what he's really talking about. Number two, don't forget, where you show up in one part of your life, you also show up in other parts of your life. So when you're sitting down and making those inspiring goals, make sure that you've got family. As a, you know, like what is what do I want my family, my marriage, my 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 relationship with my kids, friendship, fitness, right? Fitness is a huge one. Obviously, uh, Shannon talks a lot about that. Um, and your finances, right? It's not just about business. It's your personal finances. It's about those relationships. Make sure you check all these boxes because here's what I know: if you are not showing up in one place in your life, you're likely not showing up in another place. I don't know anybody who's got a horrible relationship with their spouse that's crushing business. Make sense? Uh, number three, create a plan that you 100% believe. If you do the work, you're gonna win. The plan you have to 100% believe will actually work. Um, so again, this is that if I do A, B, C, D, and E, and I do it every single day, 100% I believe that I will achieve the goal that I set. And number four, schedule it. Uh, you know, there's a whole, whole deal, hey, there's an app for that. If you will work through the scheduling of your plan, and you will make sure that there's a chunk of time each day or week to accomplish what you know has to be accomplished, it makes it so much easier to make sure that you actually execute flawlessly what that plan is. So having a schedule and having a place set aside for your phone calls or for your working on your business or for your marketing or uh, date nights or uh, you know coaching your, your son's basketball team, whatever it is, right? Scheduling it out and making sure that there's a place for them. And number five, and might be the most important, you ready? Tell someone that you deeply respect and you fear greatly disappointing what your plan, your goals are. Tell them, tell them what you want to do, by when, and ask them, would you please, when we talk, will you ask me, like we check in? Um, I know I know, guys that are doing this and just saying, hey, listen, let's have a quick phone call with, with the buddies, right, on Friday, and, and will you do me a favor, will you make, make sure you ask me how many times I went to the gym, or how many times did I make my phone calls? You need to tell some, this is so scary, I know. I, I get it, I get it, but it is so important. Remember, goal setting, super important, right? Making that plan and making sure that you believe in that plan, it's imperative. But the mindset behind using these hacks to make sure that you have the right mindset is absolutely critical to crushing your next year. Remember, you gotta be distinctive.